a lot of people struggle on that high backhand volley to generate any power. But here's a great example of Nural Shabini really getting into that ball on that high backhand volley. I suppose the first thing to say is when that ball is high on the backhand volley, if you take the ball too high, you won't generate power. And that's fine. Sometimes you need to. But the key to this is look at her. She's, she's comfortable letting that ball drop a little bit lower. So because she lets it drop lower, it almost becomes a normal shot. If she was to take it at that point there, she'd be reaching up at about a 45 degree angle with it. But look at when she makes contact now with her arm, it's horizontal, it's really flat and horizontal. And because of this, she can really generate some torque and some body weight into it. She gets really nicely behind the ball in that classic setup there. Look at how she's turning her shoulder. She's having to strain her neck a little bit to look at the ball because of the real turn. She holds her racket in that really high position with that shoulder blade and shoulder presenting to the ball, which I ask a lot of my players to do, really coiled up in that spring. And then from there, she has that classic shape. So that's shape one on the backhand, shape two drops into the horizontal. And now the acceleration up to the ball, that's where the power starts to come. You see the racket's actually horizontal and flat at that point. Strings will be facing the ceiling. I know it blurs a little bit. And then it's that rotation of the forearm that also generates some racket head speed. That position there is really effective. It all comes from that coil though. It needs the coil from the shoulders. Also the hips are nice and coiled. She then unwinds that. And if you just look at her body for a second, look how she's unwinding. But the technical execution also from this point is really essential. Going from position one to position two and then throwing the racket head up to position three and then look at that follow through. She just really lets it go. She just goes, right, there we go. I'm hitting through that ball, releasing it, not even opening her body too much. She's not over rotating. And that's a key thing to get power on that backhand volley. Try not to over rotate too much. So we'll just watch it again a little bit here. And the key, like I said, is this ability to let that ball drop a little bit lower so it's at a comfortable height. If you take it too early, really difficult to do. And there's a few technical things for you to try to take away from to see if you can put into your game now on that high backhand volley.